Okay, so open up Cydia and let it load, and you're just gonna need one source, and that's gonna be insanely high, repo insanely high. You can use any other repo there is that, you know, has stuff like XLIs or something like that. And type in, go to search, type in display, recorder. You can buy this from the big boss. I didn't. I got it from insanely high. So, yeah. And then there's just going to be a few settings you can configure. And so just scroll down, look for a display recorder. And the first one is going to be video format. Mine's H.264 slash MOV. And I don't use the one with mic audio because it always messes up my voice. Or makes weird noises in the background and it just does not sound like good quality so I actually use my camera app which seems kind of weird like that wouldn't be good quality either but under video quality you can have high that's what I'm using otherwise it's um, uh, not as good quality these are all the tap sizes that you can make. I like medium and then there's activation methods too I just like yeah, double tap on the status bar and like, don't press the button and hold status bar. And then there's just um, a display recorder app. I can't touch anything in here because it will stop my recording and I don't want to do that. But you just tap on your recordings and hit add to camera roll and it will go to your camera roll which then you can upload it to your computer. But under settings, if you have the video format of MJPEG, the first one, I don't think it comes with that option. I'm not 100% sure. But once it's in your camera roll, I'll show you. Okay, so we're back on the computer, and all you're going to have to do is plug in your iPhone with the charging cord and the USB. It may take a few minutes keep trying it and untrying it depending on how good it is for some reason it took me like two minutes so I just got it here so I can show you guys what to do so you get this and you the first one's gonna be um, already picked and you just hit okay and then hit next clear all and then you're gonna select the video that you want to upload I already uploaded it just so it wouldn't take as much time and then you, all you have to do is hit next, create the name for your video and that's all you have to do. And when you get that it'll save to your downloads wherever you saved it so I have it saved in my videos. And all you're going to want to do is go to Google type in video pad video editor and get this one from NCH software. When you click on this, just uh, download it. There's, um, it's free unless you use it for commercial use. It'll show you when you open it up. It'll say, uh, make sure you're using this for non-commercial use unless you have to buy it. And with this, you should also get a uh, wave pad sound editor, prism video file converter, and photo stage slides. So I'm not 100% that you get this. I think you do. I wasn't paying attention at some. But these two sound like you get them, and this is made by the same company, and you're going to need this. If you don't get this with it, you can go to Google, type in Prism Video File Converter. Get the one from NCH Software. Just download it. It's got the same thing with this, with the commercial use. And when you get those, you're going to want to open VideoPad Video Editor. Nope, right here and just have that open and but let's say you can't you're gonna skip this part if when you downloaded or when you recorded your screen with display recorder and you use the sound on it you are gonna want to skip this part but if you didn't all you have to do is open up your video and you can have your opener up or uh, like anything that'll do mine I'm gonna be using real player and when you open it up you can just watch it and 
when you watch it, hit play on this and on your camera recorder at the same time, and then you can record your voice. That's what I've been doing. And then I'll show you how to add that later. But if you um, record it with your voice with display recorders, you don't have to do that. And you can, when you, if you record it with your display recorder with the voice, you can already upload it under the uploads and then just add that file in there for you. That's all you have to do and you're done. Unless you want to add music, which I'll show you how to do, you can, when you get this VideoPad video editor, you're gonna, gonna do, um, you're gonna add your video file and then add your music with it. I'm gonna do that with my... Um, my thing. So I'm gonna add my video in there right now. Which is my right here. So open importing files and I get it there. And when you have it there, all you're gonna wanna do is drag it down here. And if you did record it with your sound and you don't want it, it'll also add something here and you can just click on this little sound button that will be right there and mute it and add in your own sound later if you figure out that you don't like the sound but when you get this here and you record it with your video you also upload it the way you uploaded your video and then you go to uh, prism video file converter add file right or you can right click that and hit add file too find your file that you have which is Mine is live wallpaper sound. So that's just a blank screen with me talking into it. Now I'm going to hit output format. We'll go down to .mp3. And then just hit convert. I already did it so it would be quicker. But that's all you have to do. And then when you get that file, just go to video, pad, and hit add file. Find the file that you did, which mine is right here hit open and then just drag it down to this there we go and I just gotta make sure it's the right thing yep so that's my right um, file for it and now if you want to add any images before your thing maybe um saying that like your name of your youtube channel so you can hit images add your image and put it before this video track and i'll have it there but i don't do that so but if you want to add um music you have your music already there so i'm going to be using riot by um by by three days grace there took me a while just to find it and it'll take a little bit for it to process it into this or something like that so it's loading and then when it loads all you're gonna do is drag it down but as you can see the music is a lot louder than my voice as you see my voice is there that's the music and the music will overpower your voice so you're gonna want to hit this sound and scroll down I usually do around 10 to 15 and just you can play it and see how well you want it so I'm actually gonna upload this video so I'm gonna, I gotta see right here yeah I'm gonna want it a little louder Alright, I'm just going to make it a little quieter. Link 15. Alright, so that's good. And then when you get this, you have your video all done with your sound and your voice. All you're going to want to do is hit, um, file. Save project file as. You just want to save this just in case. So, um, uh, what is this song? I'm doing this on, okay. Live wallpaper. Okay, so that's what I want to do. And then you're going to want to hit File, Export Video. And I think you can you can play around with these file formats, but these are the ones I found best for me. 
So it's that and WV and then that. It takes it ta it takes the whole time of your video for it to upload. So it'll take a little bit. So I didn't really want to play around with those. So I found the best ones and that's how I did it. So now you hit create and it's creating your movie i'm gonna pause it here just so okay so i'm back i got eight seconds left for my video two seconds left for my video to be done and there you your movie has successfully cre been created or created okay and when you get that you're just gonna hit okay and then your file is ready to upload, so I'm just going to go to my YouTube right here. And just click it. Find my file. Which is... My wallpaper for iPhone. Hit OK. And then you just fill out your details, and that's pretty much the whole video. Bye.